Hi, this is Luke from Corniff Audio. Got a quick video here I made. It's kind of like a mastering project, and I did all of the work you're gonna hear with just the pawn shop comp. And um, you'll see the versatility and just the sheer power of this plugin. It really does a great job. So I'm gonna pop it out. I have the it at Unity Gain, so when I click it in, it's gonna get a little louder, but mainly you're gonna hear the effect of the compressor and the preamp and the EQ that's all built into the compressor. So here's the raw track. Hello there, it's been a while. And you can hear stuff come right up. I guess I haven't been able to speak my mind. Go further down a little. I can feel so that's your melody out. playing with the beat of the drum of my heart. Across the world, across the stars. So the pawn shop comp is bringing up the bass, bringing up a lot of the details to the recording. You can hear more of the background vocals, more of the guitar. It almost sounds like it's been remixed. Um, what, I'm, what I've got going on here is really kind of moderate compression, 4 to 1, maybe taking 4 dB off on the gain reduction, and uh, kind of a, about a 140 millisecond release, and uh, what's this here? 50 seconds on 50 milliseconds on the attack. I'm setting the release just fast enough to bring up the acoustic guitar's ring and some of the details on the voice, but not so fast that the track pumps. And with the attack, I'm mainly trying to actually get more of the bass, uh, the initial attack of the bass coming out. So I don't want to set that too fast and trim off that bass attack. Now on the other side of sound here, um, I'm using the preamp to increase the gain and that adds a bit of warmth and a little little high end to the signal and I'll let you hear that how are you I wonder if you so that's before living in a brand no, I can even crank it but also in the middle of space. so that's adding a little bit of harmonic distortion which is changing the harmonic structure of the entire thing and over here I have the tone controls. I have weight, which is down in the bottom end, and focus, which is in the highs. And I'm just using a little of this to give some high end on the track and bring up the bass a little. And sometimes so here's before. Empty without you there. And there's me adding a little high end. But I know we're living and now, too much bass, too much weight. Air makes it boomy but if I, but I can still say there's a sweet spot right in here words are harder without. now I'm using this uh, operating level control to add a little bit of distortion uh, harmonic distortion again if I crank this up I can really add a lot of distortion and I have to feel without you by my side so we don't want that but just a little Kind of brings that vocal out a bit. I can feel your melody playing with the beat. And the last thing I'm doing is using the wet or dry control to lead back in some of the original unprocessed signal so it doesn't quite sound as processed. I'll crank that all the way up. Beat of the drum of my heart. So this is 100% effect and this is 100% dry. And if I just across the world right about there across the stars sitting here with you feels like home now the last thing i'm going to do uh, i want to show you how much louder the entire track is and i'm going to set the output level um back up i had trimmed it down to keep the uh the before and after at unity there's no more before and after at Unity here. You're going to hear exactly what the compressor is doing in terms of just adding plain old power. So here's nothing. That I've got you. And here's the compressor in. I can feel your melody playing with the beat. 
beat of the drum of my heart. Huge difference. So there you have it, a quick mastering using the pawn shop comp and only the pawn shop comp. You can see the uh, extended controls on this thing and the tweakability just make it marvelously powerful for an application like this, for really any application. So if you don't have a pawn shop comp, go get one. Thanks to Savannah Marin for letting us use her track. I made a longer video where I go into a lot more detail on the controls and my thinking behind using this compressor to master this particular recording. It's about 20 minutes long and it took me forever, but you can watch that. Just click the button or wait for it. It'll be the next one on YouTube. And thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for supporting Corniff Audio. Go make great records. Go make great music. <laughs>